let's everyone just uh, take some nice deep cleansing breaths, right? And the reason we do this is it is an assistance to the parasympathetic nervous system. And it is a way to bring this closer. It is a way to uh, relax mind and body and it brings you into present moment. So we do this uh, to shake off uh, anything recent in the timeline, maybe something you're anticipating so that you can relax and be here now. Um, so I now bring in uh, the King of Kings, thank you. And he is sharing, uh, he's bringing in the word solace, uh, the solace to be found and connected with uh, during this time. Because I, I want to reassure you that you are fine and all is well. Uh, but what is bringing uh, so much anxiety to many is that they are watching uh, their systems on planet uh, in a state of great dysfunction, decay, and um, um, corruption. And this is hard on the psyche, first and foremost. So uh, I want to extend great heartfelt solace and compassion uh, for what the psychological mind is witnessing now on your planet Earth. But I remind you that. Um, the changing and the transformation of this era, which is so strongly in each and every one of your awarenesses now, um, has been predetermined to a certain point. And of course, uh, we're all multidimensional beings, but there are timelines and how they can approach. What are timelines? Timelines mean probable futures probable future. And so the possibilities in what we call timeline is if there is a great shift in response or reaction in what we think of as a very complex uh, dynamic time on your planet, this can bring into timelines uh, additional uh, possibilities and probabilities. And this is also why uh, some of you may be feeling uh, quite unconsciously even uh, the instability of what the human mind has come to rely on as um, continuity themes and reliability themes. But I would say to you that your only job, and I hesitate to even call that a job, your only far-reaching um, focus or point of concentration is on your own healing and your own light. When we collectively talk about light, this is literally frequency patterns in your biosphere that is increasing in vibration and resonance. And of course, this can dip, this can peak. And with this, uh, what I come in specifically to address is your own confidence and uh, inner clarity uh, while you are participating in this grand drama on your planet. Because uh, what I find is that many are um, in a state of recall uh, for their own sense of empowerment their own sense of value, their own sense of uh, doing the right thing even. What's tricky is that many of you are not always getting consistent feedback on that which you are doing and experiencing and the healing and the integration work uh, that you are uh, engaging with. So I would like to, uh, shout out a big declaration of please know uh, we see this in those of you who are on planet and on this live stream that are working with your own creative consciousness, working with uh, the clearing of 
density patterns and learning to trust yourself more and more and more. This is uh, the right use of healthy masculine energy. What is being mirrored to you uh, in the leadership on your planet is the dysfunctional and toxic masculine energy. And that can be very disturbing for a soul who came in often with a higher cycling resonance um, in their own heart. And by that, I mean uh, your own sensitivity and compassion has always been a little bit higher, perhaps, than those around you. And um, hence why there has been some trauma patterning in your own backgrounds about what one must do, how one must behave, how one must uh, comport themselves and express themselves. And this has been uh, also brought in through the institutional teachings on your planet as well. So this is what I would call a pep talk uh, for what is um, energy uh, patterns on your planet. There continues to be a devolving of any semblance of external messaging and coherence in decisions that are being made by a very few on your planet. I would like to say to you, even while um, the social conditioning is that of one of devices, divisiveness and focusing on political parties and political movements. We remind you that this is a commencing time for a new era that is meant to be born into the decades ahead that is all about deconstructing uh, these hierarchies and moving into more of a decentralized uh, governing system. And of course, we do need hierarchical structures to manage and to bring function to these systems. But these systems have now become life adverse and even humanly human adverse. And not to be dramatic, but what we mean by that is that they are not functioning um, as a reflection of the populations that they are intended or meant to be serving. See? And so in a healthy uh, system of equality and heart consciousness, uh, there are discussions, there are inclusive energies um, where the, the good of the whole is the far reaching focus and center point of uh, uh, the governance of a group of people. And this is not what you are seeing mirrored to you. So first and foremost, we want to remind you again of some of the trauma uh, of the psyche and the psyche's reference point of this deconstruction process that is occurring. Yes. So, and I have Palladian energy coming in here. And uh, what we would like to remind you of is that this is the duality that is so strongly uh, uh, being um, witnessed on your planet. But we send you great messages of love and support and encouragement. Uh, for what you have um, volunteered to participate in during this time on your very beautiful and extremely uh, dynamic uh, planet. So rest assured, uh, you are seen and encouraged and supported. Uh, even while that left brain, the conscious mind, is in uh, sometimes a state of shock and uh, feeling jarred even. But the more you bring the outward focus to the inner focus, and as was shared with you 
in a broader perspective, it may feel like there's a very small percentage of people who are operating on the same timeline uh, that you are and the same uh, approaches uh, that you are. But we want to say to you that this percentage has, inc has increased quite strongly uh, on your planet. And more and more of the souls who have come here to actually be activated uh, to then step into a, a period of their own healing in order to be of service is very much uh, the time and it feels extremely uh, chaotic and dysfunctional. But uh, this is as always the precursor uh, to great change. Uh, we, as we have shared before, we have gone through the ascension process in other star systems and on other planets. Uh, so we have great um, empathy and compassion for what so many of you are moving through during what feels like a uh, nonsensical and incoherent period. But this is where we would also bring this back into your own heart energy. The heart is a complex matrix that is meant to come into a state of coherence uh, during this time frame. And what that means is, is that the heart is always working in combination with uh, the head. Of course, we need and you need your uh, gifted mental brain power to work in harmony uh, with your own uh, plans and your own ideas and perceptions and your projects and your beauty and your creativity. But we, what we are talking about as the going within to check in to see how you are feeling on a day-to-day -day basis and to make those adjustments accordingly. Uh, do you need a period of self-soothing time? Uh, do you bring in music, frequency toning, nature, ice cream, time out, a nap, whatever that may be to regenerate and rebalance self. This, as we see it, is a necessary tool for you to develop and cultivate. We are not here to reassure you that everyone is going to be on the same page or thinking or feeling the same way that you are. So we encourage you to detach from that expectation of finding the like-minded in um, others that you are interfacing with. But we would say uh, many of the masters on their path uh, were well aware of the uh, practice of compassion uh, for those around them and not in a state of judging or criticizing, but in the state of, ah, this soul is not heart-based at this juncture of their journey. And I have great compassion for the sorrow that is often felt when one is operating in an unconscious, uh, lower vibratory and unloving state. That is where uh, our compassion uh, expanded for other. And so too was the question brought forth that we are grateful to share and that is, as you are moving through your healing and integration process, uh, how that can be extremely disturbing for you as you look around to the others around you, the groups you participate in, uh, family members you interface with, and even friendships that have been long established and comfortable and familiar. But then we would say to you, how can you change the rug or the flooring in your house without some disruption and some shifts and changes within your own inner state of reality. But in this time, we would suggest or offer some um, ideas for you to ponder. When you are interfacing with another that is very much in um, a negative or a fearful state of mind, you can remind yourself 
of the value of this element of the person or this quality in the person that may still be in resonance with you and to uh, be grateful for that connection without pushing or feeling stress or sorrow at the lack of clarity, transparency, and open communication between you. Um, there is also a quality of security that is available to you where you may even be aware of being held a little bit in, a, in your own love body or a little bit even in a cocoonish state or in a uh, cavern type situation. And we would say that this is not to isolate you, but rather this is meant as a protective energy that is protecting um, this process of birthing and evolution within you just as the human child needs the protection of the love body of the mother, so too you can see yourself as going through a rebirthing process here that um, sinks back into a protective nurturing state uh, when you feel available for connection, you can reassure the inner self that it is not your job um, to have everything be in perfect alignment with another, but rather for you to hold your own light and your own self-soothing energy and self-care as you are acknowledging the state of another soul's uh, experience in their timeline, in their life, in their hologram. And we're finding that this is one of the more growth-oriented themes of this time for many of you is to not fall into that fear-based thinking and to not fall into a sense of um, acquiescing to things or to discussions or to activities that are no longer in resonance for you, you see? Um, and, and this can be troubling at times. And at other times, you may find that you breeze your way through it. We are seeing a lot of uh, the same frequencies that we move through that felt very destructive, out of love and unconscious in nature, but the light that is um, continuing to reshape itself both within your own life and on your planet is uh, bringing up all of uh, the dysfunction that has been in place for a long period of time. So we would also say to you that what is so on display in a revelatory way has not just been happening in the recent past, but has rather been an ongoing system of uh, the few versus the many for a long time. This is uh, what is disturbing is the clear visibility that continues uh, to reveal itself on your planet. So with that, uh, we bring you back into your own evolution, even as uh, the trauma in the external can be impacting you from time to time. Uh, many of you are intuitives in your own right, empathic, uh, sensitive, psychic, uh, worlds of energy live within you. And this is very much uh, the progression of the reconnecting with the dimensional you that carries wisdom and knowledge far beyond what uh, the ego or the left brain can perceive in the waking hours on your planet. So um, this is uh, a time of expansion 
and integration and expansion and integration and expansion and integration. But with this, we're also calling forth that term called healing, which uh, we know feels, <laughs> feels overused <laughs> on this planet. But uh, what we would say is the recalling of who you really are, the recalling of who you really are, even while you've been playing in the drama of life in um, the systems on planet that uh, often left many of you feeling mm, 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 unseen, unsupported, unacknowledged, undervalued. And that is why your heart does sing when you are in energy surroundings, environments, and around other souls uh, who are uh, lighting up themselves as well. So to notice the dark and the fearful is appropriate. To notice the chaos and dysfunction is absolutely relevant. And so it is. And the King of Kings is coming back. And so the solace I speak of is the solace and the grace to be found in your journey and in your dimensional um, experience and expression. Uh, we would like you to focus on your levels of confidence and personal will uh, in ways that may never have been uh, focused upon before in this earth life. But I assure you, you've had other lifetimes of knowing all about the co-creative principle uh, tied to the heart space and the right use of energy and will. Yes? Uh, trust yourself more. Trust your needs more. What is challenging is you're also being directed by the dysfunctional masculine to judge uh, thy neighbor and to um, bring discomfort upon thy neighbor. But they are espousing the very thing they are doing to the collective, see? They are in bringing in much discomfort, um, um, controls, and uh, low vibratory energy that is not in service to humanity at this time. So uh, with this summary of the energy now, uh, you need not connect to what is truth, what should happen, so-and-so needs to do this and that or the other. That is your free will at play. That is your option at play and directing your energy in any way that you see fit in this moment or in future moments. But what I would like to say to you is um, my focus, uh, my heartfelt focus is your own right use of will that grows first and foremost within self. And that is the kindness, the inner authority to steward your own life in a way that feels good, that feels right, uh, that feels purposeful and to lessen the external influences in some manner um, while you are building up this internal focus and reclamation of your divinity and uh, your uh, soul self, your soul self. And that needs some protection and that needs some boundaries and that requires some self-soothing time and developing those habits and skills in your daily life that support you as a dimensional being. And uh, we thank you again for your participation and for your light. <laughs>